Mr Farage for two minutes. Mr Barroso, every time I ask you what is your plan B, you say there's no need. And every time I predict that another country is on the verge of a bailout, you say no, no, there's no problem. And here we are on the verge of the second Greek bailout and you say there is no alternative. We must continue down this route. We must ignore the fact that the Spanish bond market are telling us that they are going to be next. What a fine mess you've got us into. You have a 100% record for being wrong with every single prediction about the euro. And when you say today that this package will put Greece on the road to growth, oh no it won't, it will put them on the road to the third bailout, which we'll be discussing in a few short months' time. I have to say, I find it a truly sickening sight to see the country that actually invented democracy being bullied by you and the increasingly appalling International Monetary Fund and being told they have to accept this austerity package. They have to accept cutting their economy to a level that will put them into a total economic depression. They are told there is no alternative to this. It is a form of sadomonetarism and it is sending them crazy. They are on the streets and there is violence and frankly this can only get worse. You have stripped them, not just of money, you have stripped them of their democracy. So what good Europeans, really good Europeans would do is to provide an alternative to help the Greeks re-establish their own currency, to allow them to devalue, to let them to renegotiate their debts because their debt to GDP ratio has passed the point of no return. And then and only then can real austerity packages work. Only then will the Greek people accept they've got to make these cuts. If we carry on down the current road, it is the path to social and economic disaster. Uh, there's a, a blue card, Ms. Savela. Will you accept a question, Mr. Farage? Yes. Thank you very much, President. I have the following question for Mr. Farage. I would like to know what the external debt is of the United Kingdom. And whether he thinks that the UK should be using isolation as a policy. Exactly 20 years ago, we were part of the exchange rate mechanism. We were trapped uh, trying to peg ourselves against the Deutsche Mark with interest rates that were double what they should be. It cost one million British people unnecessarily their jobs. Mercifully, we crashed out of the exchange rate mechanism interest rates came down and we had a happy time during the 1990s. You cannot fuse together different economies with different rates of growth, with different patterns of trade across the world. We learnt our lesson. We didn't join the Euro, thank God. You, I'm afraid, are currently trapped inside an economic prison. 